Okay, well, I'm going to take you through editing a photo, how I edit a photo using Instagram edit tools. So what I tend to do, I take the photograph darker. So you, as you can see, the water in the Thames is quite dark, but I didn't want to blow out the lights on the um, tower, tower bridge. As you can see, the two sort of like columns, the two sort of towers there. You still see a bit of detail on there. You don't want them totally white out. So bring your camera level right down when you take the picture. Then what we do, we then go into um, Instagram. Let's go into Instagram and we can go into a feed. So, okay. So we're going to go and widen the picture like that using the tool there. So up the top, you've got exposure, um, like a little um, magic wand up the top with two stars next to it, right in the top row. Click on that. That's your Lux. And so that brings up the brightness as well. Can you see that? Bring it up and down. That goes up and down, down and up. See the light on the water comes up and the sky becomes brighter. But as you can see, the towers stay the same, really. Not too bad. So I'll take that right up to the top to 100. So to click that. Then we go into edit down the bottom left, which gives you more tools. So we click on edit. Um, and I'll whip across, right across the right-hand side, to Shadows. Can you see Shadows there? Click on Shadows. And then if you take that up, can you see the, the, the water getting brighter even more? And the sky is getting a bit brighter. So take that up to about, I don't know, 77. Sometimes I max it out, but take it up to there, 79. Okay. We've got highlights. So now it's brought, the, it's brought it up a bit too much. So if I take the highlights down... So all the bright bits, the really bright bits, come down a bit better. So I do that. So that's looking good. Now I scoot back to the left-hand side. There's one called Structure. What that does, that makes it more crispy, more sharp. And also, what's it else do? Um, it gives a bit more contrast from light and day. So the clouds, you get a bit more detail in the clouds. Although it brings out the grain a bit too much. So just use it wisely. Also, you lose the misty bit on the misty feel of the river. It makes it too detailed, so use that wisely. Might not need it in this photo, but I tend to do that. Um, the other one that brings up brightness is warmth. So I'll go back there, warmth. This one, temperature gauge, warmth. It makes it either go to a more yellowy, sunny feel or a colder, bluey feel. So in the middle, so if I go to the right, it... So it brings out more, if you've got sunsets or sunrises, it makes it a bit more orangey in the background, which makes it look good. So that's good. So, yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Put that up. Confirm that. And sometimes that makes it go a bit too colourful. So sometimes I go into saturation and take it down, but it looks all right today. Um, they're the ones I really use for editing. Um, yeah, so that's not too bad. Still maybe a little bit bright there on, on the towers. So if I look at brightness, what's that look like? If I take the brightness up and down, this is brightness now. Let's make it a little bit more realistic. Okay, yeah, I didn't really change that. Okay, so done. So that's cool. Um, Done, and then that's it. And then sort of like save it. Next. And that's your picture. So it looks quite good, doesn't it? You see a bit more definition on the on the water. Tower bridge. Tower bridge. Example of filters. Of edit filters, we call it, shall we? Edit filters. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hope you have a go, and it works for you too.